Sisters, honoring your loved ones, and dreaming with them, and dance with them, and have a chance to reflect with them, and be with them, think about them, and miss them. But proud to know that they're on their journey that way. And just help them and pray them that way. I didn't forget nothing here. Could go back that way. Say three prayers and a dance, a movement, a song, and all that flow, flow towards the great mystery, creation, life, continuation, future generations. sacred circle. Call it the flowering tree, all the different colors of creation. All the tobacco ties, and the flags, they represent those little offerings to the creator and to the mysteries of the world. And they're like tickets and they're like dates and seals and stamps. Very holy. Choke cherries and uh, the seeds on the cherry. So they represent uh, the eyes of the ancestral people, eyes of the spirits, taking messages, prayers, and helping. They know seven teepees represent those. Seven directions, west, north, east, south, heavens, earth, in the circle of life. The same with those uh, purification lodges, and seven, seven hoops on the bottom. You call them seven rites of the Lakota, or the seven rites of the sacred Chanupa. They represent the winds, the heavens, the earth, and the circle. Chinupawakan, sacred pipe, and therefore the ancestral people of the sacred smoke. See the cloud formations were formed by tobacco, prayers and smoke, and prayers for generations and for good health and good uh, healing, good feeling, good ways of being. The Buffalo Scout represents our father, our father nation. The white buffalo cap pipe woman. All the things she talked about, bringing the senses back to the human, humankind. Use the heart and the mind and the tongue for that good, um, better understanding and knowledge and the wisdom. That's all the connection to heavens and earth and everything that grows from the earth. The visualizations of the world and the, the side of that. The sacred circle there represents the, the womb. The womb of the mother, then a tree. Say the staff of life, the guidepost of life, a direction. Staff of life is in the womb when they put the tree in the ground in the center. 
the womb of the circle. Then he says, uh, together, together in the ceremony, from the eagle view, it's just like the, the umbilical cords, each rope line connected to each dancer in the heart. It's like the umbilical cord and the baby to hooked up to the womb, to the mother. That stuff of life went up to the heavens. And then the dance is like the, the heartbeat, the heartbeat of the Mother Earth. And the, the dancing, the pounding, the rhythm, rhythm of the heart and the heartbeat, and the, the pounding of the hooves and the lightning, the manes, the tails. The stars represent those breaths, breath of the wind. The spirit you know, represent the hailstones, the medicines, and then the, the rain, the water of life, of the heavens. And then these dancers, they say they're like um, man and woman, they're making love, they all run on the dancers, they all go on and they touch the tree. And then they come back out, then they go back in. It's, it's like after love making, then the seeds, some come out, and some I'll go back in. You see the generations continue like that. way of life in this holy tree in a sacred circle. Teach you how to touch base and make that connection and center yourself in the universe. And they say that the seven generations of prayer under this holy tree inside the sacred circle we send their voices from the earth up in the heavens and all around the universe, whatever is holy, sacred. Yeah, who talk to us?